Hello friends, hello subscribers. Just a brief video on a rifle you should consider getting for yourself, if at all possible. Certainly put it on your wish list for Christmas next year. <clears throat> this rifle is a Sacco single shot bench rifle in 22 ppc. It's a lovely rifle. It's a single shot rifle, solid bottom receiver. 24 inch medium heavy barrel it's got uh, two holes for the trigger guard for adjusting the trigger it's a two-way adjustable trigger you can adjust it uh, really light this one's around one pound it uh, this rifle is phenomenally precise and accurate easily capable of shooting eighth inch groups believe it or not out of my hands and quarter inch all day long it's uh, it's a supremely accurate rifle would be great for coyote hunting great for wolf it uh, of course for groundhogs prairie dogs etc it's a uh, it's a case that's it, that is uh, kind of uh, well no kind of it emerged um, in the early 1970s as a response to this cartridge, the 222 Remington, which dominated a bench rest at that time. Two, uh, two um, gentlemen got together, a heart surgeon and a bench rest shooter, as well as he was as well as a machinist. So that was uh, Ferris Pendle and Lou Palmasano. There's a 222 Remington Magnum for comparison because the, two, the 22 PPC is essentially uh, the same capacity, case capacity, as a 222 Remington Magnum, despite the fact it's supremely accurate. It eventually spawned a, a couple of years later the 6mm PPC, which completely dominated bench rest really to this day for almost 50 years. The 22 PPC is uh, not quite as precise but you've got about a 300 to 400 foot a second speed and velocity advantage over uh, the 6 PPC. Uh, the rifle uh, is devastating on groundhogs, prairie dogs and will put coyotes down no problem. Uh, don't view the fact that it's a single shot as a uh, liability. You, know, you rarely need a second shot. It's, uh, it's a rifle that does best really with... Uh, that's a 52 grain bench rest bullet if you want to shake, shoot it, uh, target shooting. And then for requirements, there's a 52 grain Burger MEF. A Hornady 50 grain VMAX. And uh, can use the Nosler Ballistic Tip 55 grain for uh, for heavier animals like a coyote or a wolf. The rifle really does best with a series of powders. These are a little bit older powders. There's other powders that are available today that would be just as good and perhaps even better. But these are ones that I've used to great success. Used IMR3031 a bit, H322, H55, 352, Ball C2, I found that's really, in my experience, uh, the best uh, powder for the 52 grain, 50 grain bullet weight. 4198 is okay, it's a little fast, but uh, H4198 similar. But compressed loads with Ball C2 and a 50 grain bullet. Uh, phenomenally accurate, phenomenally precise. It's a rifle you might want to consider. They're, uh, they're quite expensive on the used gun market. They're, uh, you're really looking at, I've seen them go usually in the neighborhood for about $2,500 Canadian in good shape. Uh, that may sound prohibitive but uh, You'll never need another varmint rifle, that's for sure. Something to consider for the new year, everyone. 
we're off to a bit of a rough start with this Omicron variant, but hopefully things will straighten out in the coming months and we can enjoy a happy new year for 2022. All the best and goodbye for now.